Hi guys, what's up? I decided to re-review my Bachman Edward. Or no, sorry, I decided to re-review the Edward model because um, I decided to redo this review because even though I already did a review of Edward, it wasn't that great. So I decided to redo it because, um, well, I just felt like doing it. And also, I, I would like to dedicate this to my good, to my good friend, Mike D 57 s So, Mike, if you're watching this, this is for you, dude. So, anyway, um, let's start off, shall we? Edward was the very first character created by Wilbert Audrey. Um, he created his son, he created it for his son, Christopher, who was sick with measles in bed. And he thought of a locomotive name, and Edward was a name that just came out of thin air. So he started writing stories for the blue tender engine, and well, Edward first appeared in the rail first appeared in book number one, the three railway engines. In the story, oops, sorry, Edward's day out, which is Edward's very first appearance. And then after that, Edward had his Edward had the ninth railway series book all about him. I on a, obviously called Edward the Blue Engine. Edward first appeared in Edward has been seen in every single season. Now, okay, so that's the railway series done. Now for the television series. Edward obviously was seen in season one along with Thomas, Henry, and all the others. Well, engines one through seven were introduced, obviously. And then season two, um, he was still seen throughout the series and even in the CGI series. Um, throughout the classic series, Edward ha Edward has gotten very great roles. I think the most defining moments for Edward would have to be season two, because I feel like that's where he really shined. Um, I feel like, um, Edward, um, I'm gonna say it right now, my favorite all-time Edward episode is Edward's Exploit. I'm gonna say that right now. That's my favorite Edward episode. Um, in, you know, throughout the classic series, Edward had great roles. Then in the new series, Edward started getting less roles. I think in season 9, Edward started getting less roles. And then now in the CGI series, particularly seasons 13 through 16, Edward got very, like, little, like, very little roles. Almost little to no roles at all. They ruined his, persona his personality, too. But when season 17 and 18 came around, Edward got more roles, which is great. Um... Of, sadly, Edward was not featured in the Thomas and the Magic Railroad movie for two reasons. And I'm gonna and this is for two reasons. One, his model was not finished in time. Now that's understandable. The second reason, and I think this is a completely stupid reason, according to one of the producers, Phil Farrell, I believe, I think that's his name. There was just not enough screen time and opportunity to utilize Edward that added any real value to the film. What the hell? Edward is one of the main characters. For for Pete's sake. Ah, uh, calm down. Calm down. So anyway, Edward has appeared in almost every of starting with the specials, starting with Calling All Engines. He even appeared in The Great Race, although he wasn't actually featured, like going with them to The Great Railway Show. Um, so that's that. Um, I like Edward's personality, his, um, his kind, wise personality, and we, I'm really glad we're starting to see that now. Um, it's really great that we're seeing more of Edward's old personality resurface. Um, okay, so now for the basis. Edward is based on a 440, um... Furness Railway Engine. I believe that's his basis. I don't know if that's right or not. Um, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, 
anyway, yeah. So, enough about Edward. Let's get on to the model, shall we? You know what? No, um, I'm not going to... Let me put his tender back on. Okay, so... Bachman released Edward in 2008. Which is a little bit surprising to me because... I feel like Edward was the last of the Steam team to be made. I mean, that... You know, I can see why they did that. Um, I, I just, there's not, honestly, there's nothing really wrong about Edward's model. Um, I'm going to start off with the locomotive itself. I love his wheels. The 440s, I just love the 440 wheel arrangement. He has a black hook and front coupling, which is great. Um, I like the detail on his boiler. His whistle is cool, too. And if you look at his cab windows, they're, they are actually open. Hang on. Let me um just disconnect Edward's tender. Now, the only downside to this... Now, the only down... Now, the only one problem I find wrong about Edward is that although... Although he has this molded firebox, like, right here, there's no detail in it, which is sad. But, um... There's also no room to fit a crew member on, like, the actual cab area. But on the tender, you can. Um, I'll get to the tender in a minute. Now, lastly, the thing about Edward is the face. Look at that face. It just, it's just TV series accurate. Model series, model series accurate is what I mean. Now, the face is just great. I'll give it that. Now, on to the tender. Now, the only problem with the tender is... Why do they paint this this cockpit area blue like the rest of his tender and not black? Like the coal black like they did with Henry and Gordon? Why didn't they do that? The steps are molded, which is cool. He also has this little door on his tender, which is great. Um, it's just great that Edward, um, you know, it just looks great and all. The number two is printed nicely. I like the font that they use for it. Looks cool. His wheel guards are black. The back of the tender, it's, well, what I, what I haven't, what I already said about the front. Black hook as always. I don't know about you, but does Edward's tender seem, look a lot thinner than James's? I don't know if that's true or not. Um, let me know if, because I'm not sure. Because I do have James's model like up on the shelf. I just don't feel like getting it right now. So overall, the only two problems I fuck. The, there's honestly nothing. Overall, I give Edward. Um, perfect score. It. I mean. The firebox, like the cab area and the tender piece, I'll forgive that. I'm, I'm just going to let that slide. So overall, I rate this a 10 out of 10. Bachman's best model yet. Um, and once again, Mike D57S, this is for you. Um, uh, so yeah, thanks again for watching. Um, I, the next review that I'm going to be redoing is the Bachman Thomas review. So um, I will do that eventually. I just don't know when. But, you know, we'll see. Anyway, this is Sodor Santa Fe signing off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.